Hello, this is another episode of Business and Bible. My name is Keishan. I am excited to be before you um, because the scripture that I'm going to bring today as it relates to business and the Bible is so on point. Oftentimes when we are in organizations or um, when we talk about the Bible, when we talk about business, uh, sometimes we miss the parallel with the actual leaders within the organization. So I'll be talking about leaders informing and developing and influencing culture within the organization. So again, I'll be reading Proverbs 16. I'll be reading the message translation, which really, really, really spoke to me. Um, and the title of it in uh, from the scripture, uh, starting at that 10th verse, it says it pays to take life seriously. However, we are going to focus on leadership. And here it is. I'm reading verses 10 through 16. And it reads as follows. A good leader motivates, doesn't mislead, doesn't exploit. God cares about honesty in the workplace. Your business is his business. Good leaders abhor wrongdoing of all kinds. Good leaders. Sound leadership is a moral foundation. Good leaders cultivate honest speech. They love advisors who tell them the truth. An intemperate leader wreaks havoc in lives. You're smart to stay clear of someone like that. Good-tempered leaders invigorate lives. They're like spring rain and sunshine. And the final verse is, get wisdom. It's worth more than money. Choose insight over income every time. Who knew that all of this stuff about business and leadership was in the Bible? I didn't until I started reaching out and to, you know, just asking, Lord, what, what connects to the Bible? This is so on point. I don't know about you, but I'm just like, wow. So starting off at the top, good leaders motivate. If you have a leader, if you are a leader, you're in an organization and everybody who has the title of leader may not be a leader. And even if you don't have the title of leader, you can still motivate. They don't mislead and they don't exploit. Take advantage of people. God cares about honesty in the workplace. Your business is his business. As a leader, God cares about what you're doing. So whatever you're doing, it is also his business. Think of the lies the lives that are impacted by leaders. Um, verse 12, good leaders abhor wrongdoing of all kinds, of all kinds, little white lies. Oh, this won't hurt anything. Good leaders abhor these. And guess what? The verse right before that, God cares about honesty in the workplaces. Your business is his business. Verse 13, good leaders cultivate honest speech, meaning open door policy, perfect example. If you work within an organization that has an open door policy and they ask you to come and share, you should be able to share without fear of retribution. They love advisors who tell them the truth. Good leaders do. Don't come giving them fluff, just straight no chaser. I, I had a pastor who would say that, straight no chaser. Just give people the truth. Um, an intemperate leader. Now, let's talk about that a little bit because I want to um, break that down a little bit. Give me a minute. So intemperate, this is the de definition of intemperate. Intemperate, having or showing a lack of self-control. They have these outbursts. Have you ever had a leader who would just fly off the handle and you're like, what, what? Maybe you're in a relationship with somebody who just flies off the handle. And you're like, wait a minute. So verse 14, which is really what I wanted to focus on, an, intemper an intemperate leader 
wreaks havoc in lives. You hate to see them coming. You know when they come, think of friends even. You're like, oh, here we go. But we're talking about business. Whether you're an entrepreneur, I don't know why I can't talk today. Maybe because I'm still hoarse. But if you're an entrepreneur, you're a business owner, you are looking to start a business, you are an employee. Don't be that intemperate person who comes in and people hate to see you coming because they know it's about to get messy. It's about to be off the chain bad, in a bad way. Um, so an intemperate leader wreaks havoc in lives. You're smart to stay clear of somebody like that. Like I just said, you see them coming, you want to go in the opposite direction. On the flip side of that, verse 15, good tempered leaders invigorate lives. When you see somebody who has a positive attitude and they always have good information to share, you're like, yes, I love being in their presence, as we all should be that way. And then finally, verse 16, get wisdom. It's more, it's worth more than money. Choose insight over income every time. That is what I wanted to share with you. So I will close out with prayer. I pray that this blessed you. I pray that you pick out the nuggets that's applicable to you because you're the one who's in that setting, that business setting. You are the employee. You are the leader of that department. You are the leader of the organization. You are the entrepreneur. But guess what? God cares about your business. Whatever your business is, he cares about it. So let's close out in prayer. Father God, I thank you for this time. I thank you just for the words about leadership and the role that leaders play and the type of leader that's a good leader and just letting us know that you care about our business. So Lord, I just pray that nuggets were taken again and I'll, I'll probably continue to say this, one plants, one waters, but you God give the increase. So Lord, I pray that you are increasing every time somebody listens, you increase them, that you enlarge their borders um, and that they may continue to make impact, that it will be positive impact, not intemperate impact where people run away. So Lord, I pray that every ear that is hearing, every eye that is watching, that you would bless them abundantly. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. And once again, if you are interested, I have a free ebook for you. It is 31, Keishan's Food for Thought, 31 day devotional um, of the book of Proverbs. So you can read it. You can read it every time each month. And if you run out of days in the month, you can double up on a day or two. Um, it is yours for the taking. If you are interested, email info at K-I-S-H-E-N-N-E-W-T-O-N dot com. Info at Keishan Newton dot Come. It will be yours for free. Again, that is all that I have to share. I pray that this blessed you. I pray that you benefit from it. Like, share, subscribe, um, do your part. And um, again, God's business is your business or your business is God's business. So be the best leader that you know how, whether you have the title or not. That is all I have to share with you. Take care. God bless. Until next time. Bye-bye.